Um, hi everyone, so my name is Ming Nguyen, and uh, you're about to indulge my, my greatest passion as a sign geek. So, yes, good. Um, so over the past year, I've been cataloging some of the thousands of standard signs that appear, that highway departments post uh, on their roads around the US. Most of these signs are regulated by a federal technical standard with an unwieldy title uh, that most people have shortened to an unwieldy acronym, MUTCD. I think that's the only way you can, you can call it. Um, so let's start with this typical Georgia intersection with a railroad crossing behind it. <laughs> so the MUTCD regulates every conventional road sign you see in, in this picture, no matter how insignificant. It specifies the exact layout of each sign down to an eighth of an inch, uh, even where the bolt holes should be. In addition to the road signs, it also regulates the layouts of the roads and how they're marked. And finally, all the kinds of traffic signals for both drivers and pedestrians. The MUDCD pervades American road transportation infrastructure and beyond. Even those of you who don't drive, don't bike, don't pay, take public transportation, and don't even walk along roads are still familiar with many aspects of the standard. Most signs remain identifiable regardless of the context in which they're posted. And if you've ever seen a particular MUTCD sign before, uh, if, even if you've never seen this sign before, you've already picked up on enough of the standards um, patterns to make sense of the sign that you're seeing. There are a lot of standard signs. At times, I've found it difficult to keep all the corresponding OSM tags straight in my head, especially given OSM's preference for using British English. So last year, I started a series of pages on the OSM wiki that you can use as a field guide. Uh, you can look up a sign by its appearance or its name, and you can find out how it should be tagged. Uh, simple enough. Uh, mappers in other countries have already created similar pages for the signs in their countries, but we needed ours for the US. Compiling these tables is a big task. The MUTCD is not one standard. It's 36 or so different standards. Uh, many states have developed their own versions of the MUTCD to support state laws or to address unique local conditions. Um, so each of the states in orange has adopted uh, a supplement to the MUD MUTCD with uh, some additional signs, just uh, a few, typically a dozen, two dozen, whatever, uh, while each of the states in purple has adopted an entirely separate uh, MUTCD standard, um, which, which is still resembles the national standard, but it has a lot more in it. So on my own, I've only gotten as far as comp uh, of cataloging the signs for a paltry two states. Uh, and that was a, year's, uh, a year of work on and off. So here are some figures to give you a sense of, uh, of why it took me so long. I, I wasn't just that, uh, uh, you know, kind of being lazy. Um, even, so uh, there's, there's thousands of signs. Um, and um, it's kind of multiplied by this matrix of different states. So taking Arizona, for example, even though Arizona has only adopted a, a supplement to the MUTCD rather than a full edition, uh, there's still some 1,200 standard signs overall that you can find in the state. So why go through the trouble of putting together all these pages? Uh, because documenting sign standards is an important step in shaping OSM's tagging system so that it meets the needs of both mappers and data consumers. And if we want OSM to rise to its potential here in the US, then, then US standards need to be rep well represented in OSM's documentation. So outside the US, the MUTCD has a lot of influence in a few countries like Canada and Australia, but many countries have adopted a rival standard, the Vienna Convention. It doesn't have an acronym. The Vienna Convention has been adopted by most European countries under the auspices of the UN. So it has a place of favor in OpenStreetMaps tagging conventions as sort of an international standard. If you look at many navigation-related tags in OpenStreetMap, uh, in the OpenStreetMap wiki, the tag will be illustrated by a Vienna Convention sign, and it'll be described in terms of European sign standards. Even though the concept, and this happens even if the concept applies equally well to non-Vienna countries, uh, and there's an analogous MTUTCD sign that looks completely different. It isn't just a matter of one country deciding to post a different looking sign than another country's. 
sometimes countries don't even agree on what details should be signposted in the first place. So um, can anyone who hasn't been to Europe uh, tell me what this, uh, this neat looking sign means? Uh, I'll give you a hint. It does not mean the London Underground Station is ahead. Free lifesavers? Oh, that's a good, that's a good guess. What, what, if, uh, what if I told you that the sign with a red, a round sign with a red border means that something is prohibited? What is that? A car driving is prohibited? That's, that's pretty good. It's very close. So it means that, um, it means no vehicles. Uh, so no cars, but also no bikes and no horses, uh, no scooters, um, but pedestrians are allowed. So essentially it's uh, pedestrians only. Maybe, maybe pets also. Um, and so if you come from a country that uses these signs, it would be pretty obvious to you that you just tag vehicle equals no uh, and expect data consumers to figure out what counts as a vehicle um, in a particular country because the sign is gonna, isn't going to tell you. So we don't do that that way in the US. Um, instead, we have these uh, selective exclusion signs that spell out exactly what's prohibited. And this requires us to use more tags in combination, but it's also easier on data consumers because they don't have to figure out what exactly is a motor vehicle. Beyond signs, METCD compliant roads are also marked with layouts that are unfamiliar in some Vienna Convention countries um, that presents with us, us with some unique challenges. So for example, um, in, around here, uh, as soon as you get outside of the city, um, you'll get a lot of exits on the freeway that just like shoot out from the, from the freeway. There's no lane for you to slow down in first. And um, that's, that's pretty normal for us, but because a lot of OSM's navigation related standards were optimized for German roads, um, that's not, that was never really consideration because these don't exist in Germany. They always have those lanes. Um, so this table configuration affects where you place the node to indicate a, a motorway junction and that in turn affects the timing of any uh, instruction that you might, your navigation app might use to tell you to when, when to get off the freeway. Um, so in 2017, the Dutch and German communities adopted a, stand, a convention called uh, Kreuzkernzut, I think I pronounced that correctly, uh, for handling these taper conventions, but it requires omitting information about the geometry of the ramp. You can see they're just cutting th right through the gore. And so if the ramp happens to be more curved, it's not going to capture that. So I think had Amer American mappers been party to that convention, um, there probably would have been a different outcome because we would have accounted for what we know in our experience. Um, so a, a third example, this intersection features standard pedestrian crossings at an intersection. Uh, it's indicated by walk signals circled there and by curb cuts with tactile paving. So pretty standard intersection, right? But it lacks, uh, even though it's signalized, um, the crossing is unmarked. Um, it doesn't have those, uh, those um, uh, lateral markings that you normally expect. So it means that drivers are less likely to notice and yield to pedestrians in the crosswalk. That's a safety issue. Uh, even, those, this, even though this configuration is really common in, uh, in some US cities, um, a common European influence scheme for classifying these crosswalks is just completely unable to distinguish it from the marked variety. So these discrepancies are a key source of conflict within the OSM community, and I think that's why we should raise awareness of our reality so that others don't mistake our mapping practices for backwardness. Uh, compiling the MQTCD tables on the wiki is a three-step process. First, you need to read and digest the very large MUTCD standard and then convert uh, its sign codes into tables. And then you need to find and create or create a, a diagram, an image of each of the, the images, uh, of the, each of the signs, and then figure out what tags you should be using with them. Uh, and if there aren't any tags that are in use for, those, for that particular sign, you need to propose one. Um, the most time consuming step in my experience so far is obtaining a suitable image for illustrating the sign. But the good news is that Wikimedia Commons has a lot of road geeks who have already drawn a lot of these. But if they don't, then you need to pull out your slide rule and you need to craft one based on the official sign specification, which might have been drafted in the 70s. Uh, Inkscape is an ideal tool that I've been using to turn these sign specifications into presentable diagrams in SVG format. Uh, by the way, this is the only standard sign in the US, possibly the only one in the world, that comes pre-graffitied. <laughs> a lot of the signs have no corresponding tags listed yet, either because I haven't got around to figuring it out or because I'm stumped. 
Uh, and these are great places to dive in if you don't have graphic design skills, but you still like to geek out about roads and tagging. Uh, often when a mapper finds out there's no established tag for something, it feels like a dead end. Formally proposing a new tag um, is really a high hurdle to clear for someone who wants, just wants to map what they see in front of them. So our community needs to be proactive in closing these gaps so that mappers don't unexpe unexpectedly find themselves in the vanguard of tag design. Some mappers have taken it upon themselves to close some of these gaps based on their personal interests. Um, the tables I've been compiling were used as, as a justification for a new tag for daylight, daytime headlight requirements. Uh, and the proposal really made it a shoe in um, It skipped the usual back and forth about whether these requirements are verifiable, whether this is something that we should be even mapping because it's kind of a legal thing. Um, it was just, it, there's a sign for it already. Uh, similarly, for the, um, the, tag, the tagging scheme for street parking has suffered from a lot of different flaws over the years, um, and it was actually inadequate for describing the kinds of parking restrictions we have in the US. Um, so the, ca the MUTCD catalog uh, on the wiki gave the community confidence that a revamped scheme could support, uh, could adequately support uh, parking, street parking in the US. We're building a pipeline of high quality proposals that uh, serves the needs of not only US mappers, but also mappers in other regions. Because we're introducing new concepts into OSM, like these snow chain requirements, that mappers worldwide can take advantage of, and eventually data consumers too. You can check out the work in progress sign catalog on the wiki, um, and use existing pages as a model for your efforts. Um, unfortunately, many of these pages are currently uh, experiencing performance issues um, and coming up blank because of a bug in the wiki's configuration. So if you're technically minded, maybe you can help with that. Um, but as a workaround, you can keep trying until the URL until it loads. Um, if you're interested in contributing graphics to this effort, uh, please see the um, notes from a workshop I gave last fall at Wiki Conference North America. It has links to uh, everything you've seen here as well as a step-by-step -step of actually uh, well, no slide rule requ no required, require but actually converting one of those diagrams into uh, an SVG. And if you have any questions or want to coordinate efforts, please hop into OSM US Slack and, uh, and say hi. And um, we'd love to have you join the effort uh, in cataloging the US standards. Thank you.